Hi folks and welcome to another Furby Furblets unboxing and review video. This time I'm unboxing Pixel, described by Smith's Toy Shop as the third game on Gamer Furblet. So I found this at Smith's and again they only had this one Furblet. It was like just one of these in the whole store. It's like they're just sort of releasing one individual for a blet at a time. Don't know what's going on. It seems like Smith's has got a bit of a shortage of fur blets. But I'm so glad to finally get this one. So without further ado, let's get this out the box, try it out, and see how it harmonises with the other fur blets. So here's our Pixel, extraordinarily colourful for Blet. I like the colours on this one. We'll just pop the clip off. So let's see what this for Blet is like. Good start. So we'll take him out of Try Me. And now we'll try out his head button sounds. Oh, he's a happy furblet. <laughs> I love that. I put the mic closer so you can hear his sounds better. <laughs> Brilliant. I like the evil laugh as well. And the little snort with the laughter. Okay, so Let's try out his music with his heart button now. This is probably my second favourite after the rocker verblet. <laughs> oh, 
fantastic. I love this one. So we'll try some harmonising now. So we'll do the first pairing with Mellow Knee. One more time. So we'll try with Uku next. And one more time. And finally with Ray V. Oh, that was very tuneful. So, Paul, what did you think of those pairings with uh, Pixel? Uh, Pixel, I thought, harmonised best with uh, Melanie. I thought, oh, uh, that's interesting. I thought with Uko, it didn't work at all. It's, it's just too... Raucous. Yeah, raucous. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she just, he, uh, Pixel with Melanie had the edge over uh, Pixel with um, Ravy. Oh, I, I thought it was quite melodious with uh, It was, Ravy. they were close, but I'd, I'd give the edge to, to Melanie and Pixel. Okay, as promised, folks, we are now going to get all four to harmonise together. So go hold the beaker down. After three. Okay. On three. One, two, three. And one more time. One, two, three. They're like a little choir, aren't they? Yeah. I don't. I think two harmonise better than uh, three or four, though. I think they would argue with that, Paul. It sounded like they were <laughs> <laughs> not agreeing with you on it that just one. Sounds like, just sounds like a toy, sh toy shop at Christmas when everything's <laughs> turned on. So, because Pixel's got such a distinctive laugh, I thought it'd be interesting to compare Pixel's laugh with some of the other furblets' laughs. So I'm going to start with Mellow Knee, as that one is a particularly giggly furblet. Now for Uku. <laughs> and finally, we'll hear Ray V's laugh. <laughs> so, Paul, as far as the laughs go, who would you rank top? Uh, I'd say Pixel. I've got particular fondness for Pixel. Well, I can't separate it out from all the arcade sounds that, that, that she <laughs> well, or he Pic makes. Pixel, and, uh, Pixel uh, has m more variations to its laugh and its laugh's more distinctive than Ray V or Uku. Uku. However, for me, I think that Melanie has got the best giggle. Yeah, right. In my humble opinion. Okay. So next, we'll see who's got the catchiest tune so we'll start with Ray V
So, Paul, who do you give the prize to for this round, Catchy's tune? Ray V. Ray V. I do find Ray V's tune very catchy. However, for me, personally, Pixel has got the edge. Ah. As soon as I heard that tune, it uh -huh. stuck in my head. Right. And I was, like, automatically humming it. Right. In the final round, I'm going to compare purring. Now, this round is only going to have Mellow Knee and Uku in it because the other two, I've not been able to get them to purr. So, Paul, who do you choose out of these two for the purring? Uh, it's got to be Uko. Uku. Uku. I agree. Yeah, it sounds uh, a bit like a tiger gargling. <laughs> I just thought it sounded like more, I don't know, satisfied yeah, with its purring. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Happy with itself. So, at the end of that competition, Pixel has two points, Maloney has one point, Ray V has one point, and Uku has one point. So the winner is Pixel. Oh, well done, Pixel. Well done, Pixel. I'm surprised, really, the overall winner. Even though it wasn't even in the last round, mm. it winged it. I thought I thought it might have been Uko. But uh, Uku. Uku only got one point. Right. For purring, Uku didn't win laughing uh, by either of us. Right, OK. And didn't win Catchy's Tune well, by I've, either of us. I've got to say, Pixel does it for me, really. It's those retro uh, video <coughs> and arcade game sounds. They, uh, they really hit the spot for me. It's a pity it doesn't purr. <laughs> Can't do everything. <laughs> I suppose so. I suppose that's why, you know, none of these have got touch sensors. There's not, like, a purring button because some of them don't purr. Yeah. There's an eating button. They can all eat, but not all of them can purr, which is a bit of a shame. I, try, I think I'd rather they were able to purr than eat. Mm. So with each of these, every time I've got one, I've liked it better than the one before. <laughs> like, I got this one first because of the colour. Yeah. And that, when I got this one, I didn't know what sounds they made. I just mm -hmm. got this because I, I, that was my favourite colour. Okay. Following in the tie-dye steps of the Big Furby. Yes. Yeah, okay. Got you. And then when I started finding out that they had different personalities and, mm -hmm. and played different music, I decided to get this one because it was said to play like more relaxed sort of music so i like the, mellow, the sound of yeah, that mellow -y. and then when i got it i really like the the giggles uh -huh. i mean it uh, that's where it got its point in the competition right, it's giggling right, yeah. really like the giggling and the purring so i thought well i chose that first but actually i preferred that one because of the personality and then when I saw a video of this one, I thought it was oh. absolutely hilarious. Big character, Uku. Massive character. Yeah. And so this one, I like the least in terms of the fur, but when I got it, it just won. <laughs> <laughs> it had that great purr as well. It's got a good laugh. It's got a good purr. Yeah. And then it makes all those, uh, but the funny, funny thing is all that, you know, hard rock guitar music and the screaming voice in this tiny little mm. ball of fluff. Works well, doesn't it, yeah. I just find it hilarious. Good combination. But then I've got Pixel today and it's really grown on me. Out of the colours, I would say that's my second favourite. Uh -huh. I really like the colouring on yeah. it. Well, I'd, I'd put that as my favourite, the colouring on it, Pixel. I'd, I still like the rainbow one. But then the sounds are, ah, oh, they're just so funny. Oh, they're terrific, aren't they? Yeah. Like yeah. all the sort of like, psh, 
Yeah, it really, <laughs> it really takes me back, you know, to sort of arcades and, and like playing the first Space Invaders and then the later video games. Hearing those sounds again is terrific. It's interesting as well because, you know, toy companies, there's this big thing with adults. And one of the main things that toy companies focus on when aiming toys at adults is nostalgia. Yeah. And you've got like double nostalgia here because you've got no nostalgia because the Furbies. That's right. And of course, Furbies have been around since late 1990s. But then this one has also got the nostalgia of those yeah, arcade, the arcade sounds. Games, yeah, yeah. So Hasbro is really focused on nostalgia with these mm -hmm, furblets. Mm, a double whammy. Yeah. Some double helping yeah. of nostalgia, yeah. And I was saying um, in, in previous discussion videos that I was a bit sore that we weren't getting anything animatronic or robotic from toy companies that was aimed at adults. So, you, you know, you've got the Lego aimed at adults. You've got lots and lots of figures. And I know that you were saying, well, these are animatronic because they've got no moving parts. Uh -huh. But at least the electronic, at least they've got microcontrollers in yeah, them. Yeah. They've got some personality. They're not just a plastic figure. Mm -hmm. So that's good news. Maybe it's the beginning of something. Maybe, yeah. So, folks, that about wraps it up for this unboxing, demonstration, review and competition <laughs> video. It's not been a full competition because there are, there are two uh, furblets that have not been part of it. But I can't see anybody topping Pixel. I can't, no. Now, the two that are remaining were my two least favourites. But now that I've started this competition, my arm's been twisted. I'm going to have to get the last two, aren't I? Oh, so. the competition just can't be fair. That's right. So, folks, I will be getting the other two furblets in the very near future. I wonder, the other two, I wonder if they purr and I wonder if they giggle because this one doesn't really giggle. It makes one sort of half-hearted attempt at giggling. And this one and this one don't purr. So I wonder how the last two, if they purr or giggle. Mm, might do both. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe they do something that these don't do. Mm. We'll have to wait and see. So, folks, I hope you found that entertaining. Thanks for watching, as always, and hope to see you next time. <laughs>